time to save the universe again then, is it? Absolutely. I love this character and I wanted to go on this adventure and I wanted to live this life for a while. I wanted to train for months and, and be really healthy and learn skills and get stronger and I wanted to go to these countries that I'd only heard about and understand their, their history and I wanted to run around and, and be really free. Even, even to the first day I was there and it was like the day, you know, with the guns on and the holsters and the first, I was so nervous and not sure about it. And yet it's one of those things you just have to jump into and, and cross your fingers and hope that um, you're doing it right for all the people that already like her and you're not uh, disappointing them and that you can pull, pull off physically all the stuff. It's a ride. It's like, it's sort of an old fashioned adventure movie. It's like classically, you know, it's like King Kong sort of, I don't know, all this sort of adventure movies. It just goes so many different places and have so many different locations that you're sort of, you're constantly going, oh, where are we now? Or well, what's happening now? And I, I, I think, you know, I think that's, a, that's where I can describe it. It's, it's a blast. Training was uh, two and a half months before filming and then all through filming. I had kickboxing training, all different weapons training, different combat courses and training, and every different kind of gun, every different kind of thing to do with a gun, from taking it apart and learning about them to playing with them and practicing the holsters, canoeing and dog sledding, and just everything. It was a great thing to do. It was a lot of fun. There were some days where it was just, I was so bruised. I just tried to get in shape. I just tried to get in shape and so that when we had to do the physical stuff, I wasn't, you know, on my knees at three o'clock in the afternoon, sort of, you know, I wanted to sort of, so I could keep up. I mean, it was hard work, but the physical stuff is, I find much easier to do. I mean, you don't have to do a great deal of thinking. You just have to know where to jump and at what point to jump. And it's, and it's fun. I mean, it's like, it's playtime. Um, especially you know, on, on, a, on a set like that, it's like, it really is sort of, you feel like you're in a, on, on an adventure playground. <sighs> and a lady should be modest. Yes, a lady should be modest. Yeah, you have a certain responsibility. The thought of being a role model is a great thing. It's such a beautiful thing to be, and I think because of her curiosity about other countries and because of her uh, being so physically strong, um, and that she's a good person, she's, she's friendly, she's a good friend, she loves her parents, she's very honorable, she's not a liar. She's very sexual, and she's, and she's obviously very physical, and physically, sexy because she has a certain kind of body and wears certain clothes and that's because of the game and so we did that and we didn't want to take that away but yeah there'll, there'll always be people that feel she's not a good role model because she has weapons or she's not a good role model for a lot of different reasons and and they're certainly welcome to those opinions and and i probably agree with them in some level but she had them in the game it is a movie and if and if you're gonna have weapons or learn about that or fight in this world you should know what you're doing and you should know who you who the enemy is and um Stand up for yourself, I think that's a good thing.